We have Keith Hagen with us, uh, fourth place finisher at MB5, quarter finalist at MB6, MB7 coming up. Uh, any uh, anything you're doing to prepare for the big event? Nothing out of the ordinary. You know, just uh, playing a little bit here, a little bit there, um, focusing on my racks, throwing a ball at a time. You know, everything that uh, everything that the great ones say you're supposed to do. I've been doing it. I feel like I'm right there. Anyone in particular you uh, look forward to playing or uh, look forward to seeing this year at uh, NB7? Well, I haven't had a chance to play Dean Allen. I, I would like that opportunity. Um, always looking forward to uh, going against Andy Osters. She's a great player. I uh, like to get that monkey off my back. Um, like another shot at Andy Freshour, Jason Solomon. All the big names. All the big names. Well, the rest has all been, that's no big deal anymore. So. You used to have someone in your neighborhood to practice with. Yeah, he, uh. Dan Renner, his, Dan Renner. Yeah, yeah, Dan Renner. Um, moved to the west side. I, I think it's just probably easier on him out there, less pressure. Um, I mean, it's not like he only had to move out of the, our neighborhood. I mean, he had to skip cities. I'm a little bit afraid that he's moving to Canada after this tournament. So, nice. something, to, something to look for. Yeah. Now, uh, this year I'm expecting a big contingent from uh, from Jackson, and uh, I think you were the one that introduced this crew to uh, Monkey Ball. We thank you, Monkey Ball folks. Thank you for that. Got some good players coming out of there. Uh, any words about the uh, Jackson contingent? Well, I was going to bounce that back off you. Um, do you feel that any of this, like new people? Um, just all the talent out there. Does it affect your game? You know, like how? I love fresh meat. You like fresh meat? Because I would like to at some point make a prediction. You know, if like say who I think is going to pull it off. But I feel bad because I never pick you, and it just kind of it sets up that way. And I, I I think you've got a lot on your plate. You know, you have a lot to worry about. Uh, you brought up Jacks, and that's kind of how I got into this. Um, are they going to knife anybody? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Um, yeah, another thing to think about. Another thing to think about. I mean, you have your brother out there, Casey Freshour. Does he have enough suntan lotion on? Could he burn? He might. You never know. I think that's why he fades in the afternoon. Hmm. Um, Andy Osters. How many dudes' numbers is she getting? I mean, it could be four, five. You never know. Um, it, it's, it, it's, it's a crapshoot out there. So let's make a prediction. Kay. Final four. Who do you got? Final four, you know, I, I always lead off with myself. I mean, it, it's a pretty safe bet. Uh, I like Dean Allen again, good player. Um, I'd like to take somebody from Jackson this year, but it, I don't, you know, the only one that's been there is Ryan LaPeak, and he's got a ways to go yet. Um, I think I'm going to take Andy Osters, just, uh, just for the hell of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that last spot comes down to Andy Freshour and Jason Solomon. Mm. They're both great players. And taking home the uh, the gold medal? Oh, I don't know. You know who you want to say. Well, I always want to say myself, but um, I think that's just bad mojo. So I'm probably going to lean. I, I, I picked him last year. I'll pick him again. I, I think I like Jason Solomon. He's a good player. All right, Keith. He, he's the prototype. He's, he's low to the ground. You know, short people scare me. That's all I got to say. <laughs> we'll see you at NB7. Thank you, sir.